hard for me to even get out of bed. Especially after having a whole week off of work because a snowstorm decided to shut everyone off. Our electricity went out. Started snowing Valentine's Day. It got worse. It got freezing cold. Our lights turned off. Some waters got shut off because some pipes burst in. And it was just so chaotic. I didn't even get to work the entire week. I had the whole week off because of the snowstorm. It's probably going to be a little bit shaky the video. But if it is, it's because I'm driving. I have it on this little like tripod thingy that is somewhat broken because Joe decided to break it. So it's like holding on for dear life with like a chungle. But I'm on my way because we have a walkthrough, which is actually our second walkthrough on our hopefully fingers crossed our forever home, our first ever forever home. I'm excited. Probably doesn't seem like it, but only because I'm like focused right now on driving. But I just left work early. I'm on my way to the house. I'm gonna meet Joe there because he just got out of work early as well. So, Claudia is still at school. She's still at school. She has drama practice today. So, she started this house process maybe, um, I would say January 14, January 16, one of those dates. We started the process. Claudia was there with us when we saw the houses. We went, um, we saw a couple houses in the neighborhood that we're gonna live at. Um, there was two houses that she fell in love with. The second one that she fell in love with was a two-story, three-bedroom, and she loved that one. So we're like, okay. Before we even walked out of the house, she was like, this is my room, this is my closet, I'm picking this one, this is what I wanna do to the room. This is what is going to happen. I'm like, okay, we know we gotta try to get this house for her. We had already put the, some money down on the house so that way we know like, hey, like this is the house we're going to work on. This is the house we want to get. Uh, try not to sell it to anyone else, of course. So we already had already started all that process without Claudia even knowing anything about it. So we would pass by the house every day after work, after school. And the sign would still stay available until one day. Oh my God, I'm such a horrible parent. I'm so mean for doing this, but so we passed by the house one day and the sign says so oh my god if I wish I could have recorded her reaction because she was so pissed off. She was so mad. She's like, oh my god, I can't believe they sold the house that I wanted. I told that lady that this is going to be my house and she decided to sell the house to someone else. I guess we're never going to live in a house. We're never gonna get a house. She was just going off on how pissed off she was because her house that she wanted so bad was sold to someone else with her not knowing, of course, that we're the ones buying that house. So me, as an evil parent, of course, I went along with this like, oh my god, that lady is so mean. I can't believe she sold that house to someone else. <laughs> Pretty much feeding the fire. I was pissing her off even more. We get home and I tell Joe about it. Joe even feeds it on. He's like, oh my god, that lady is so mean for selling the house that you wanted. So she's like, I'm mad, I'm mad. This just ruined my day. I can't believe. I thought I was gonna have such a great day and this just ruined it all. I was like, oh my God. Being the evil parent that I am, I still every day, till, till this day, every day we pass by. But of course, I'm like, what about this house? Like there's still other houses in this neighborhood available. She's like, okay, we're gonna go ahead and you and dad figure out how we're gonna get this house because now I want this house, which was literally like maybe across the street from the one that she really wanted, which was sold to someone else. So, okay. So, on the first walkthrough, I told Claudia, I was like, hey, you're going to school. I'm gonna take the day off because I'm gonna go talk to the lady about that other house that you want with. So she's like, 
okay, make sure you tell that lady that I want this house. She sold, she sold the first house that I really wanted. And if she sells this one, I am gonna be so mad at her. So they, okay, fine, I'll let her know that you said that. So I went on about my day. I went to go pick her up after school, after we were done with the walkthrough. And she's like, did you tell the lady? I was like, yes, I told the lady, which I actually didn't. So every day, again, Every day we pass by the neighborhood, we pass by the houses, and that same house, the second house that she said that she really wanted, said sold. <laughs> oh my God, if you, I swear, I wish I recorded her reaction every time she saw those sold signs. It, she was, if you know my daughter, for those of you that do know my daughter, she is so dramatic. She is so extra when it comes to her emotions or just her herself she's so dramatic about everything she sold the second house i don't ever want to see that lady again <laughs> she was so mad she's like i don't want to see that lady again i can't believe she did this again to me what is wrong with her okay i'm gonna go ahead and stop because i'm already here but i gotta wait for joe he's stuck on traffic but she sold the house i can't believe this lady oh my god i don't ever want to see her again you know what i give up i give up i'm i don't want to live her in these houses if she's just gonna keep selling the houses that i want like oh my god she is so dramatic about it all so i was like okay you're fine there's other houses in the neighborhood if we can't get any of these houses you're fine we can just wait a little bit longer save up some more money and get another house fine fine whatever i'm already mad this ruined my day again so i was like oh my god you're so dramatic you get over it so now she doesn't know about again like she doesn't know anything about the house she doesn't know that we're getting it she doesn't know that she's gonna get the room that she really wanted she's gonna be able to do anything at all she doesn't know that we're actually getting a house she just all i tell her is that i'll talk to the lady about the house that's available so that's all she knows so we're like hoping like that we get to surprise her so so today we're gonna go ahead and do the second walkthrough the first walkthrough is pretty much we put blue tape on whatever needs to be fixed whatever needs to be repainted what needs to be cleaned if um there's any um blinds that are broken that need to be replaced pretty much any upgrades that the, the house needs to be any minor upgrades that the house needs before we actually move into it so today for the second walkthrough is just pretty much making sure that the painters um painted what needed to be painted that the walls are clean the counters are clean um, the stove the sink the toilets the everything pretty much works at the house and well especially now since we had the winter storm last week um, we need to make sure there was no water damage no pipes bursted and so pretty much that's what the second walkthrough is for and if everything is good fingers crossed i'm praying that if everything is good today when this walkthrough is done we will finally close on the house on wednesday this wednesday which is today is the today is february 22nd so we will be able to close on the house february February, whoa, whoa, why is it hard to say that? Uh, February the 24th. So we are so excited. That day, if everything goes good, we sign on the paperwork, then we will be able to tell Claudia, surprise, we got you a house. And it's actually the house you first wanted. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. So hopefully, praying, fingers crossed. That everything is good to me so we'll see if, if we get to close on Wednesday and be able to get the keys and everything to our first ever forever home so Joe's already here so we're gonna go ahead and start on the walkthrough and we'll see you later 
Okay, guys, we did it. We are officially homeowners. <laughs> Yes, so now we're finally, we just finally finished signing all the paperwork. We finally got the keys to our house. We have um, still a couple more things to do to like, I guess, for our mailbox and everything and make sure all our mail goes to our address. <laughs> but other than that, we're actually on our way to go pick up uh, our daughter. And we can finally surprise her. Cause I know uh, the other day I was like, I was telling y'all about how pissed off she had got because she thinks her house got sold. So now we can finally tell her we bought her the house. So I'm so excited to see her reaction to see to see exactly how she's gonna react to it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we finally went to go pick up Claudia. There she is in the back. We blindfolded her. <laughs> okay, with so Claudia, <laughs> with my jacket. Okay, don't oh. take it off. It does not smell. It's washed. Hold on. Don't take it off. We're getting you off the car. Wait. Okay. Alright. So we bought you something? Yeah. Today? Well, That's why I didn't go to work. Yeah, it's still under a little construction. They're fixing a little bit of stuff, but they should be done pretty soon by Friday. You ready to see what we got you? <laughs> oh, sorry, I made it too tight. You the one who bought it? <laughs> yes, we're the ones who bought the house. <laughs> All this time that you were getting mad because they sold your house, it was what? us, we bought it. Still a little bit, some last minute thing that we told them to to fix, so that's why there's a ladder right here. Yeah. What, what do you want to fix it? Ready? We're beautiful forever home. This is our baby. This is your home, Princess. Here's our living room. Right here. Okay, let me do this real quick. There you go. Here's our living room. Those two big old mirrors. I mean mirrors. Windows that I was so excited about. Here's our kitchen with the island that I have always wanted with the little bar and we get to buy little bar stools for it. And then our dining room area all right here. So it is the perfect open floor plan all right here. And here's our backyard for all the the parties after COVID, after the after the pandemic, for all the barbecues, the the parties. Claudia's Nessia that she wants a dog. I want a dog. That's the only thing I want. Only if you're gonna take care of it, feed it, clean the poop. If it no, throws up, you gotta clean up the throw up. You're doing all that disgusting stuff. Our attic. Mm -hmm. This is where we put clean towels. That's where I got it. <laughs> this is where we put our washer and dryer. Our washer and dryer, laundry room where we wash all the dirty chonies. <laughs> Same for you. <laughs> My room. <laughs> you wish. Here's our master. And then in there's the master bedroom mm -hmm. where all the magic happens. Mom, my mom and dad's room. <laughs> She's so upset she doesn't get the master. This is the two sink bathroom. I don't know if that has water. Does it? Does it? Yes. 
beautiful ones in it. <laughs> now the water's stuck in there. I'm gonna keep it there. <gasps> Wait, they closed it? Of course, I'm excited for this. Randomly, I don't know why, but that's the um, closet. <gasps> oh, come here. And our master closet, which can literally is big enough to be like an extra little mini room, right? Mm -hmm. Nosy one. Yes. Yeah, so looking out the window. I want to see what everybody's doing. I'll be like, hello, people. Creepy. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> Said the one who was watching me when I sleep. You walk into my room and be like, no, I do not, Linda. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> my closet. I don't know. <gasps> they messed up. <laughs> I can't to find Linda. And then this one is probably going to be my closet. Okay, that's really creepy just putting that in the closet and like changing. Okay, so this is my other room that I was talking about that I'm deciding. Again, I want the bed. <laughs> this will probably be the guest bedroom. The <laughs> other one will be yours since it has the bigger closet. Wait, is this one small? Is that one small? Oh god, don't mind. I'm not like that arch piece. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, come in here. It's arched, and I do not like that. Oh, it's part of the attic. I want to go in the attic. Okay, now let's carry on. I want to show you downstairs, even though we did. This is how you're meant to go downstairs. You are going to hurt your bottom. <laughs> house tour. I know right now the the audio sounds a little bit weird but because it's so empty so our voice is like echoing throughout the entire house but I'm so excited so finally we get to say we live at our forever home so I know we wanted to do like the whole um, housewarming barbecue and invite friends and family um, and pretty much share this chapter of our life with our closest friends and family, but with restrictions and six feet apart. And I know it's not possible at this moment. So I guess that's it for today's video. So I'll see you on the next one.